for tuning back into another video. This hat is totally ripped off. It's like totally broken, but I thought it was magic my shirt. Oh! <laughs> this is my friend Eric's um, shirt he was selling on the road. It's a really funny joke, inappropriate to wear out of the house. Trust me, I've done it. That was a mistake, just like I didn't think about it until now that I was wearing it on the camera. So I'm going to try to keep that out. Um, anyways, so how's everybody doing? I've had one hell of a week. So funny because last week I was checking in about my mental health that I was doing well. Still am doing well, just for the record. But, you know, well, like, just because you have some hiccups doesn't mean you're not doing good. It's actually, like, great to have hiccups because it, the, how you react to them just shows how well you are doing. You know, so the fact that I got, I'm, mean, like, got right back on the horse, got right back up on the horse, and I'm just, I just, I'm doing much better this week, um, is just great. Um, do not, take a second to, like, Listen, if you if you are searching for wellness and mental health, like take a second to really think about that. It took me forever to really appreciate my hiccups when I was doing so well, and then I have a couple bumps because that is it's it's, it's going to happen. It really, really is, and I have to remind myself of that because I'm I'm always a little bit hard on myself when it happens. Um, the the focus of this um of this video is to be about um, anxiety. How to treat how, the, uh, and anxiety in the way that I deal with it. The, um, how I've dealt with my last few um, episodes of anxiety, of really, really bad anxiety, but I, I, mean, I must say. So, um, and I want to say thank you for everyone who sent me ma messages. I almost said mail. Like, it's like back in like the 90s or something. You're writing, like, going to the post office and dropping off. Um, everyone who sent me emails and messages and comments about. You know, just telling their story and uh, like just asking for my advice. I I find that to be rewarding, and just thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to do, keep to keep doing more of that. Keep doing to keep doing more of that. <laughs> so um, I'll share with a little backtrack story about something that happened in December. So because this is like the last big thing that happened, but I was going through a lot of. Um, big decision making and changes. That's what I moved to San. I had planned. I, I was looking for work. I I got a lot of job offers, and um, I accepted a job in San Francisco. And I was going to move to San Francisco. I moved to San Francisco, and I started having really, really like this is what an anxiety attack is. This is what a panic. I don't know if there's a panic attack. Um, I mean, I thought I was dying. I would roll around in bed. I have a probably about three or four of them, over the span of a couple of weeks, rolling around in bed, couldn't breathe, crying, screaming, can't breathe, just like sweating, like just full on awful, just like my brain is like telling me that I'm dying. I started thinking about like the move I'm going to do, like oh my god, with my money, do I have enough money, like what am I going to do, what am I thinking, you know, I'm going to be up there by myself, like you know, like oh, oh, oh. like just like, I'm going to fail, you know, but it's like the thing that's scary about all of this is that your brain thinks like, Thinks it's true. There's no telling you. you. I could tell myself that like that's irrational. Like this is pretty dumb. But you feel, you feel that you're that you're going to die. You feel like you are going to fail. You feel like you know, the, like it's almost like like you should, it's like and it feels like true, like a reality check. And that, that's what it felt like for me, like a reality check. Sometimes you have you ever had that reality check where someone turns the lights on and you're fuck. Ah, that was the fucking truth, and that's shitty. Or sorry for swearing. So I'm like, oh my goodness, um, you know, you like you look in the mirror, you look fucking, you look awful. I like I kind of felt like it was just like the eyes were looking at myself, and like it was true, even though it wasn't. Um, anyways, so the best way that I dealt with those, and that I would tell anybody, it is, it it, it sucks because it's really not that helpful. It's not that encouraging. It, it, it didn't when I when anyone tells me something, I wouldn't feel like. It would get me through it, or like it was. It wasn't gonna. It wasn't gonna get. Me, that was the problem. It wouldn't get me through it comfortably. So I wish that I could give some sort of advice, um, because that would make it better for you folks. Because I don't want anyone. I don't want to, and I hate to give that. Like that's the truth. Like you just have to go through it. Um, maybe knowing that will help you a little bit more. I know that uh, what I did was I literally just. Counted my breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
And like you, you will not want to do that. And it almost like as you catch your breath, it like makes you lightheaded. You know, um, you have to come back in, and it doesn't work. You just have to keep doing it. You just have to keep doing it. You'll, you'll stop. And your mind will go chaotic again. You have to bring yourself back to it. That is what got me through it. Also, because um, I didn't, I wasn't taking anything for my, um, I, I didn't take anything for anxiety. For anxiety, I didn't take anything for my sleep. This would keep me awake. So what I would do, and you have to be careful because mood-altering substances, um, which is about <laughs> anything, uh, will set off anxiety. So caffeine. Um, to be honest, uh, to be honest, I even took one of these. I was already having like these this anxiety, so I don't know if it was because of this one exactly. But I took an antihistamine, a Benadryl before I went to sleep. Brought on the anxiety like a motherfucker. But at least it's a at least it's a good thing. I'm trying to swear, but I'm like still totally swearing over myself. Um, but at least the good thing with that is that like I do kind of fall asleep. So maybe something if you can't if it's keeping you awake with your anxiety, I would maybe pair it with like uh, some sort of some sort of sleepy. Sleepy time tea is a good one. That's why I probably should have used it. I should have had that. Um, so, you know, so that way, you, if it happens at night, at least like I am, a lot of people isn't happening at night, so that's only for people that it's happening at night. Like, it, oh yeah, and by the way, mine would only happen at night. It was right when I went, went to lay down in bed, and I would go to sleep, boom, it would come on. And it was, it was full on. So yeah, not at all during the day. So for folks that have a during the day, I mean, the best you can do is just breathe through. My advice may not be um, as useful considering I got to pull it off into the sleep abyss and I would wake up, I'd be totally fine. And I'd be like, oh my god, I got through another night. <laughs> Yay, you get to do these nights. Uh, so, um, what I advise for that, uh, for during the day, kind of anxiety that's intense like that is, you know, drink water and go for a walk. You know what I mean? Every, go for, go for a five minute walk, you know, and make sure that every, 30 seconds to a minute, and definitely every minute, you take a drink of the water. A nice cool. So, um, okay, so what happened this past week was insane. I've never experienced this before. I'm going to tell you the story. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing to, to, um, to cope and to move forward with it, and then I'm going to get off of here. So, I am taking a trip to Florida. For my brother's graduation, I always go home during the summer at some point, see my family, and I have now in hindsight, I I realized that this trip was just happens to fall on a really busy time, um, or a really bad time, but the trip was already planned, so all life just kind of fell into like this. It fell life happened at, at a bad time. Um, I have been taking Accutane, and I haven't had any problems with the Accutane in my depression. Thank God. But um, I had went off of the Accutane maybe two, yeah, maybe about two weeks ago. I'm finishing up my treatment here. Look at my great skin. Uh, there should be some more improvements, hopefully, in the next few weeks after being off of it. But um, I go off of it for about a week, and the doctor's like, well, we're going to put you back on the Accutane for another month. And I was like, okay. So I go on and off the Accutane. I happen to have actually run out of the late lithium for like, for two weeks, but that I couldn't get in to see the doctor because she was overbooked and like, how do you do all this blood test before she would write me another prescription? So here I am. I'm off of my beds essentially. Um, I then go right back on them. Then I'm supposed to go on this trip to Florida, and then the day before I go, I'm like, "Whew, I'm getting a lot of anxiety about this trip." Okay, which is normal for me. I always get a little bit of anxiety and like. Ner nervousness, I don't want to go, I hate, you know, blah, 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 I don't want to go on this trip, I hate traveling, and I don't want to go there, like, I don't know, I just never want to do it. And then I get there, and I'm fine. Um, and believe it or not, I actually have it on my way back, too. Like, I never want to leave Florida, I, <laughs> and, um, I like, drag my feet, and then I get back here, and I'm fine. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to be fine, like, you know, I'll just do the normal. Except, like, okay, so it's, 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 it, it's coming, it's like, is it impending doom? What do these people say? It is just doom coming on. I'm like, I, it's like the night before, I'm not packed. I'm like, it's getting to be, you know, I'm, I've been staying up all night, I can't sleep, I don't even want to sleep, I'm supposed to be packing. 
I can't do it. I'm starting to go down. I'm starting to get super depressed. I'm starting to think about things. I'm like, what am I doing with my life? My family's going to hate me. I'm like, why is my family going to hate me? I'm like, talking to myself. I'm like, you're doing well. It's like, they're, it's like my family's going to hate me. Um, you know, my brother's going off into the army or the navy, and I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm never going to see him again. And I was like, I'm going to get to Florida, and then I'm never going to get there. I'm going to come back to LA. Like, I'm just like, my mind is just spiraling out of control into the same type of thing. You know, it's anxiety. And it, it, except now, it's not only like I'm having anxiety. I'm getting full on depressed. I'm getting really, really hysterical. Crying. Hiding in my room. I'm not, not talking to anybody. I'm not leaving. Um, and... Um, you know, then I'm, I'm like staying up all night. I cannot function. Okay, miss my flight. Tell my parents. Oh my god, sorry. You know, I actually I didn't tell them anything except I already booked another flight. I'll be on another flight. So they're like, okay. So next day, I'm going through the same ship. I'm like, if I couldn't have described it any worse than what I just did, it was all of those things and worse. And I'm just like, oh my god. I'm just like, I'm having panic attacks. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't leave my room. Anything. No, wasn't eating. Ain't enough to, to live. That was just a bomb So my parents are like, what is going on? You know, everyone's blowing my phone up. I don't know. At this point, I'm like, I don't know what's going on with me. Why is this happening? So I book a third flight. Then the third flight is, is coming, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going. I'm like, at this point, like, I'm not going. Like, I know I'm not getting on the flight tomorrow. I, I need to let it go. I need to stop, you know, dragging everyone through this. I just need to, like, accept that it's not going to happen right now. I'm too overwhelmed for whatever reason. And, you know, my family will understand that. I just they need to know that I'm okay, and I need to stop giving them this false scope. I need to end this and move on so I can end it and keep going on here and doing whatever I need to do here. So that's just what I did. And almost immediately, it was better. I felt fine. Then I say I woke up, I felt so I felt way better. And um, I'm a little sad that I didn't get to see my family, but I'll see them in a few months when things calm down here. You know, I started two new jobs basically. Working at this working at this the online store that I made and I which I love and I hope that you check out and give me your feedback. And um, also at a restaurant that um, up in uh, up and coming, not up and coming, um, it's just it's just a poppin' restaurant. It's really busy. Um, here in Santa Monica, so that is nice. Always staying busy working with my friend Eric as much as I can. He's got a special that he's doing on Showtime that will air in two days on Friday. So make sure to check that out. And everyone, thank you for watching. And that's up to the end of my little bit here. Have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.